in my pants. That's like real annoying. Where are my pants in here? The birds are watching cartoons, just so you know. They love cartoons so much. Hope I didn't just fly out hands. Pants, where are you? I need some pants. Where did you go? I don't know where my pants are. What do I do without my pants? Dang it, I don't know where my pants are. This isn't a normal thing. I mean, I know I don't wear pants a lot, but when I do, Did I put them downstairs or something? Okay, let's go see if they're downstairs. And if they're not, I'm gonna have to wear a blanket dress because just in case, you know what I'm saying. We have a lot to talk about, y'all. Um, I'm gonna talk about the thumbnail first in case that person, aw, Danny like did the dishes. Dress we go for today. Erin! Hi! I miss you! Yes. Oh, Darcy, you're so sweet. Okay, pick my glasses for now. I'm gonna change a lot because don't leave yet. I might do some singing because I'm inspired and I have to show you this angel of a man that I found. Not my husband, but besides him. It's not salad. Real. You're camping? What do you mean you're out camping like in your backyard? Because how do you have service? <laughs> Are you in your backyard, Paul? <laughs> I hung all my glasses collection, weird glasses, up here. Isn't that fun? Oh, I'm so excited to show you this guy. So I have been trying to learn. Um, let me splash you a little. Happy. I have been trying to learn right um oh no that's not how it's in there right Shelton I've been trying to learn um it's called Horse Fail from Darren Hansen and so I've been listening to a whole bunch of videos and in my opinion I mean people might be offended if I say that Ben Platt isn't the best but I haven't really like I listened to him once that's it but this guy that I found and then I watched like seven of his other videos and I was like, can I please talk about you on my channel? He's like, of course, thank you. So sweet, so good, so unbelievable. Like, why is this guy not on Broadway? Why is this guy not famous? Why does this guy not have a bajillion subscribers and things? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you this video and then you're all gonna go subscribe and we're gonna try and get him some more subscribers so that the algorithm will work with him and maybe that will inspire him to sing even more songs for us while we're stuck in quarantine for death of the days until we're dead we'll be quarantined until we're dead did you pick my glasses yet anybody can you pick me glasses while i pull this up okay <sighs> Oh, you know what I should do real quick, actually? Let me put his link in the description of this so you can go subscribe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I do that? How do I do that? There you go. There's your uh, sneak peek. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, share, copy link. Okay, go on my channel. This always goes back to Emily Vegan Flower because she saw a video of mine. Wow, I can't think and do this at the same time. Hold on. She saw a video of mine when I had like no subscribers almost. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think I had like a hundred maybe. 
I don't remember. Um, hang on. I should also put, hold on. Emily Vegan Flower found me and um, put me on her channel and she had like 20,000 subscribers and I'm really bad at multitasking. Um, no, no, no! Go back! What's his name? Wait, what's his name? Keith? Okay, Keith Woodside. Okay, there we go. Alright, so both will link to this particular video we're going to watch together is in the description and so is the link to subscribe to him so please go do that and what glasses did you want hold on i can't believe this dude's voice just wait and watch it's incredible um did anyone pick maybe i'll pick for today let's start with my favorites let's start with the crabs Walmart does amputate. What are you talking about, Steph? I never know what you people are talking about. Ooh. I'm just going to pick out some of my favorites. How about that? birds and like, like weird no noises from upstairs. I'm stuttering again by the way. I'm having a little stuttering spell so just ignore that. Um, I started putting on cartoons for my birds. I know that sounds weird but my birds are so cool and so bored. <laughs> um, in the past with my birds I always kept them in my room with me and so if I watch TV they watch TV and they always loved it. My favorite bird buddy loved watching Dr. Phil. If I turned on Dr. Phil, she would go to the corner of the cage and, and her eyes would be glued to it. Um, so anyway, they just, I know they're bored. They don't sleep in my room. They don't sleep with Danny. So they literally stare at a mirror or a white wall and that's it. So I was like, I'm just gonna give them cartoons to watch. Is that weird? <laughs> Your dog watches movies like Homeward Bound. That's incredible. Okay, so, um, well, you started it, Steph. Shut up. Okay. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, I was like, I actually, I'm, this is how tired. Can we just like move on from this? Okay, let me show you this video in case he watches this. I want to get it in the beginning so he doesn't have to sit through the rest of me probably trying to sing and butcher things. Okay. Um, this dude is so amazing. Okay, how do I get to the video? Oh, it's in my description. Yes. Um... So this is Keith something. Forget his last name. Oh, wait. That's it. Keith. Keith Woodside. This dude is incredible. And I don't want, I don't want this to come off wrong, but this dude is ripped. And you don't see that. Listen, I'm a musical theater girl. I love, I love musical theater and I love like, you know, music from that. And I'm just not good with words, but this dude, it's not often that you find somebody that's so ripped and gorgeous and beautiful men. No offense, like they're all beautiful. Wait, that's really offensive. That's not what I meant. All the men are beautiful on Broadway. You just, you, you, you wouldn't think that this beautiful of a voice would come out of this dude that looks like he's like a, like a, 
football star dude, giant, strong man person that should compete in the strong man, you know? Yeah, like Corey then versus now, that's exactly, yes, except he, his arms might be bigger than Corey's. I don't know, Corey's pretty ripped right now, but okay, so let's just watch this. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, here we go. He's so good. Um, I just fell in love with this voice. So this is Keith. How cute is he? I never meant to make such a mess. I never thought to go this far. So I just stand here, sorry, searching for something to say. I'm gonna cry. Something to say. I know, right? I guess I thought I could be part of this. I never had this kind of thing before. I never had that perfect girl who somehow could see the good part of me. I never had the dad who stuck it out. No corny jokes for baseball clubs. No mom who just was there because mom was all that she had to be. That's not a worthy explanation. I know there is none. Nothing can make sense of all these things I've done. So much emotion. Do you think I know. Maybe everybody wants it, needs it a little bit too. He's so good. So this is Keith. Woodward, if you want to subscribe, it's in the link of this live stream right now. I found him, and he's amazing, and he deserves more people to watch, so we're watching him. He's insanely talented. Yeah, it's sad they shut down Broadway because Broadway of the virus. That does suck. This was just a sad invention. It wasn't real. I know. But we were happy. I guess I couldn't let that go. I guess I couldn't give that up. I guess I wanted to believe. Cause if I just believed, then I don't have to see what's really there. No, I'd rather pretend I'm something better than these broken parts.
Asked him, he hasn't answered me yet. So good, Keith. We love you. I'm so proud of you. Good night. Are you on Broadway? Please tell me you've been on Broadway before. Let's see if he answered back because I asked him on his channel. Um, I. No, he hasn't answered yet. But this is what I said. I said, can I share you on my channel after like leaving other comments? And then I said, and then he said, whoa, of course. Thank you for the love. And I said, please tell me you've been on Broadway. Absolutely stunning back to watch it again. So hopefully he'll see that. But if you're here, Keith, hey, dude, bro, like, I don't know if, if you want to join our family here, but uh, I'm Shani and I think you're amazing. I, um... I started a channel to talk about mental health and eating disorders, and I lost all my teeth. Are you still here after that? If so, congratulations. Good job, Keith. Um, but we talk about we talk about everything on this channel. We talk about every hard stuff. We have a lot of fun. I attempt to sing once in a while. I'm not anything near you, so don't judge me, please. Um, and it's just a really awesome supportive community like there are so many people in this community with so many random different problems not just mental health and eating disorders but like other stuff too and we all just love and support each other and 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 welcome yes she's shanny they're my fannies <laughs> which in america fanny means butt so but apparently in other places in the world fanny means vagina didn't know that so you're either my fanny butts or you're my fanny vagina so you get to pick but anyway Yes, she, or he, you, she, wow, words. You are insanely talented, and I'm gonna be real pissed if I find out that you've never been on Broadway, cause holy smokes. Okay, there you go. Everyone go subscribe. Let's see how many he has right now, and let's see if we can get him to an even, what's he at? He's at 481, we could totally get him to 500. Oh, we can get him to 500, that's a big milestone. Okay, everybody here go subscribe. It's in the description of this, I'll be right back. Everyone goes to crack. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's really inappropriate. Oh, I'm so, this dude is so awesome. I'm just, I think he's wonderful. Sometimes I've done this quite a bit because again, Emily Vegan Flower did this for me in the beginning. And I always said to myself, I'm gonna pay this forward if I ever see somebody that I believe in, that I believe deserves more than what they're getting, I will shout them out and I'll talk about them. And I was just looking, cause I don't know this song super well yet. Like I've never seen this musical before I really want to, but I haven't. And I've heard this song quite a few times and I love it, but I haven't like learned it all yet. So I was just searching for this and he came up and I was like, holy, what? And so then I watched a couple of his other ones and I was like, are you real? Like what? <gasps> Thank you. Um, let's see what he's at now. He is at. 491? Oh, nine more. He's going to fit 500. Oh my gosh. Nine more. Nine more. Go subscribe. And then go leave a comment on that video that I, that I just showed you. And the link is in my description of this live stream. Go leave a comment. Tell him I sent you so that he'll come and watch this. And then he'll get our shout out to him. Because you guys have been giving him shout outs too in the comments, which is awesome. Good for him. I just think it's wonderful when... I see the men getting so emotional and singing and doing all the things that, you know, women are 
more known for doing, but that's what I love so much about musical theater is hearing the men and the men's voices are just so different than women's and it's can be so powerful and this dude is very powerful. Um, let's see, he's at 4.93. Thanks guys, seven more. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe, go subscribe, go subscribe, go subscribe. Maybe he'll wake up in the morning to this like surprise that he has 500 subscribers. So we're gonna do that. Me too, I agree, Aaron, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. Um, don't give it, don't give a shit about anybody or what anybody thinks, just sing and feel what you feel. And I just, oh, I have mad respect for this dude and for all dudes that do musical theater. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 494. Yeah, so he, it looks like he doesn't post like super often, maybe every couple of weeks, sometimes months, but still, again, if we can, if you guys can all tell him to come watch this live or tell him that I sent you, then he'll come and see and he'll see his, his face in the, in the profile picture of this video and he'll be like, what the crap is that? And why is my face blurred out? And then he'll click on it and he'll be like, oh my gosh, these people are so amazing because uh, we are. And then I'll be like, oh, you should be that. And then he'll be like, oh, I can that. And then we can all live happily ever after. What's he at? Four ninety five. Four ninety seven. Three more. Three more. Wait, am I subscribed? Oh yes. I am. Okay. Three more. 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 You need to upload again, Aaron. I miss you. I miss seeing your face. I miss your voice. I miss hearing you sing. I miss your other videos and your poetry and all the things that you do, I miss it. So do it again, girl, do it. Like now, like don't get off my live stream because that's really important. Stay on my live and then go do it. Just kidding. Okay, 497 still. Okay, three more people. If you're just joining, go subscribe to Keith Woodside. We just listened to his rendition of Words Fail because I'm trying to learn that song, so I've been like listening to different people do it, and he by far is my favorite so far, and I just like fell in love with his voice, and I just think he deserves more subscribers. And right now, we're trying to get him to 500 subscribers. He is at 497 right now. He does not know we're doing this. This will be a surprise, hopefully. And there you go. So, oh, he hit it, yay, 500! Thanks, guys! Oh, I hope he sees it, I hope he knows. So go leave a comment on the words fail video, which is also in the description. Go leave a comment on that video and say Shani sent me, Educating Shani sent me, so that he'll come watch this so that he can see my shout out and then he can see all your lovely comments that you, you guys have put because it's awesome. So yes, yay, I'm excited. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go back to my, find my comments. This is so fun. And so like, yeah, I've only heard it recently. It's kind of put me in the mood to sing. Now listen, I understand Keith, if you're watching and anyone else who's new, it's okay. Like I used to feel really offended because when I sing live or if I put up singing videos, um, people leave <laughs> a lot and people don't watch the videos as much, like maybe a third of it does. And I used to be upset about that. And then I was like, you know what? Why am I upset about, not everybody has the same taste that I do. If I think it's good enough to put up, then I should put it up because I enjoy doing it and that's what matters. I know I'm not that great, but I love seeing it. It makes me feel happy. And this dude like inspired me to want to sing. Hi, Alicia. So I might sing a couple things. Are you all gonna leave now? We have 43 people. Half of you are gonna leave, which is fine. That's your, yeah. Anyway. Shani, I love when you talk dirty to that sink. What are you talking about? What are you ever talking about, Steph? I never know sing Broadway songs, Kay, but I don't know very many. That's the problem. <gasps> He's here! Yay! Yay, we love you, Keith. You're so good. I don't want to sing if you're here. Go away. Ew. I mean, I'm so bad compared to you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that you're here. Aw, we, we're all in love with you. Don't worry, I'm married, even though I'm not wearing a ring. I don't, I don't know if you are, but there are a lot of single ladies or guys here if you're looking. I don't know which one, but um, 
I never know, you never know, so just whatever. But, <clears throat> but dude, holy smokes. I'm not gonna sing now, are you kidding? Here's, let me talk, let me tell you this, Keith, because this is kind of cool. Maybe you'll understand this. Um, so like I've been singing my whole life, but um, I've had a tiny bit of classical training, but not much. And then I've been in like choirs in junior high, like the elite choir in, in high school, that's it. But I was always way too afraid to try out for musical theater because I'm not good at singing in front of people. So the fact that I make singing videos and sing on live streams is like out of this world like my family was shocked when they heard that I did that because they've been trying to get me to sing for them solo my whole life. And every time I do, my throat closes and I can't do it. And then I want to die. Um, so when I started, so these people brought it out of me. They, I, I sang, I think it started with me singing like just a little line of something under my breath and not realizing I was singing. And someone was like, oh my gosh, you sound so pretty. You should sing more. So then I did. And then they encouraged me and I was like, wait, I can do that. Um, and now I don't get nervous in front of them, but I might be nervous in front of you because your voice is of the gods of the, you're like Hercules with like the voice of the, that, that dude. Welcome to my channel. I'm really weird. I never make sense and I'm really inappropriate. So stick around if you'd like. <laughs> Okay, what should I sing? What should I sing? No, don't leave. I'm just kidding. You can stay. It would be fun though. You know, it'd be fun if, if we do a duet someday. Um, so like one of us, you could film. Do you know who, do you know who, um, do you know who Clark on stage is? Have you heard of him? So he's doing pretty well. And he does, he'll sing like duets, but he'll only sing the male part. So you can sing with him. You should start doing that. So like he'll do like Aladdin, A Whole New World, or Tangle, I See the Light, or whatever, you should totally film one of those, and I will sing with you. I'm not kidding. Disney ones are best for me. I don't know a lot of Broadway songs, because I've, all I know is musicals I've seen and musicals I've come across. Like, I've never been to Broadway. It's my dream to go see something on Broadway. Um, but, yeah, but Disney I know really well. But some Broadway, I'm trying to learn. That's how I found your video. I was trying to learn words fail because I fell in love with it and I'm so I'm like trying to listen because I'm not a good music reader I'm a listener and then I just like do it from there okay what should I sing you know what we'll sing with I'll show you what Clark does that'll be a good example and then okay let me find him hold on because you'd be good dude I mean you're good at holy smokes I'm blown away by you oh I need some water hold on <laughs> Oh, summer nights would be fun too. So let's do, I'm trying to think which is my favorite to do with him. But I really want you to do it too. Um, let's do, what was that called? A Whole New World? I'll try this. This might be a bad one to start on, but we'll see. So like, he'll encourage you, which is funny. I think he's choosing things. I don't know that. I don't know how school needs to. Wait, I need my glasses. Hold on. Isn't he so cute? He's adorable, huh? But I want to hear you do this, Keith. Indescribable 
myself. I hate myself. Ew. <laughs> You're singing with me? You know what's really fun? I want you to do this one. It's summer nights. And then that, that'll, then, you can go, by the way. You, you, can, you, you don't have to stay. You need to do this one for sure. If it works. Oh, wait, I don't know the words. Hold on. I'll warm up. I'll get there. I'll get there. I don't know. It's hard. I have to look at it. Sorry. Greece, whoever asked. Oh. That's where it is. So I told her we'd still be friends. And then we made our true love. That's what you should do. I don't know if you're here. Oh, my battery's dying. Lame sauce. Now that I'm warmed up, I'll do one more, but you don't have to stay. <gasps> Love is an open door is fun. Or maybe I'll sing a single one now. <gasps> you know what I'll do? My favorite. Why didn't I start with my favorite? But seriously, you can leave if you want. Um, where is it? I need to go get my charger too. Hold on, while I look for the, I'm gonna go get my charger, I'll be right back. But I don't know if he's still here, but anyway, welcome. Shut up, Keith, you lie. You're just saying that, but thank you. You're adorable. Okay, I'll be right back, hold on.
Lee, you're welcome. I'm nervous. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, that's okay. Did he go? Okay. Aw, he's so sweet. Isn't he awesome? I hope he comes back someday. He's wonderful. Um, I have to run, but I'm going to think and think about some duets. Yay, let me know if you have any ideas and I'll work on some ideas. Awesome. Will do. I will go comment in his videos. I hate that that's what he just saw of me. Damn it. Oh, well. What's happening? I haven't been insecure in a long time. I get really intimidated when I see people that are like... <sighs> anyway, um, okay, I'm going to do another one because I feel like it. And Erin's here and she hasn't been here forever. And this is I See the Light with Clark. I need to catch my breath. Hold on because I'm first. <sighs> my soul is first. <laughs> He's wonderful, isn't he? Did he talk to you guys? I wasn't paying attention. Did he like, did he share like where he's from? What he does? Did he do any of that? Did he connect with anything I was saying or anything? I don't know. I just, is this creepy of me? Ooh, I'm kind of a creep, huh? Yeah, I'm probably a creep. Okay, let's move on. Okay. He's so cute, Mr. Clark. <laughs> Days watching from the windows, all those years outside the game, all that time never even knowing just how blind I've been. Now I'm here blinking and starving. Now I'm here, suddenly I see. Standing here, it's all so clear I'm where I'm meant to be And at last I see the light And it's like the fog has lifted And at last I see the light And it's like the sky is And bright, and the world has somehow shifted. If you do dark, see it's gonna be seen by people, so keep that in mind. All at once. Wait, what's happening? Did I do that wrong? Oh, I skipped the line. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. And bright, and the world has somehow shifted. Oh, okay. All at once, everything looks different. Now that I see you. Yeah, that's your new job, Darcy, because I always forget to text her. There it is. Hi, everyone. Thank you. He doesn't do the words right here, but it's something like, I have something for you, too. And I wanted to give you it to you before, but I was scared. Do you know what I mean? And he's like, oh, not really. And then he sees. Go Clark!
Good job, Clark. High five. Thanks, bro. Okay. Hi, now I'm gonna talk to you. Who watched the conference today? Did anybody watch it? And if so, what did you think? Let's go see how that is doing. I'm gonna go check. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a part of a, people come back, I'm done singing. Go tell people to come back, I'm done singing. I'm done singing, come back. Um, we did the Reason to Stand conference online this, this, um, this spring for obvious reasons and everyone was really nervous about it. I was the only one that wasn't as, I was nervous about other things but I was not nervous um, watch or talking to the camera but everyone else was. So I felt really kind of like honored that I could help them and that like every single one of them was texting me while they were, right before they were about to film and asking me like like a billion questions about YouTube and stuff. So that made me feel really good. And where is it? Hold on. Um, and I will post my speech on my channel eventually, but I, I really want the other channel to get more views, you know, cause that can spread more um, awareness for it. You know what I mean? He said my voice is beautiful. That's bullshit. Thanks. Um, I'm so embarrassed, ew. I don't know why I get like this. Like it's been like this my whole life. If I am singing in front of somebody that I know can sing like beautifully, I can't sing. It just stops, like it just stops. <sighs> oh well. Um, okay, what am I doing here? I need to pay attention. Let's see. A reason to spawn. <gasps> oh, they have 49 subscribers. Should we get them to 100 right now? Guys. Okay, if you haven't already, go subscribe to your reason to stand. I'll go put it in the description, hold on. Look at us, we're just gonna be subscribing to people all night basically, so you're welcome. Thanks, Alicia. You're biased, but thank you. I know, I need to stop doing that. Like it drives me insane when other people do that and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so bad. I'm like, just shut up and sing. And like, I don't know why I do that. Where are they? I sent you the link. I sent you the link before anybody else, dumbass. You're supposed to watch it and review it for me. Anyways, um, okay, let me see if I can like, hold on, hold on, put it in the description. Where's, how do I do that? I'm just, it's been a very nervous day for me already because of this, um, yes, Darcy did awesome. It was exactly what I needed, so thank you, dear. Um, I'm shaking, okay. It's been a very nervous day for me for many reasons. The conference, um, I'm having, some really bad, right? Like it's in the text message, Dee. Dee. Um, I'm having really bad problems down south in the butthole areas, as we all know I have issues with, but um, it's really bad right now. And it's making me, hold on, hold on. Okay, subscribe to a reason stand so subscribe to the link in this description because there's another reason to stand but it's not the right one okay um paste there we go okay let's see if by the end of this live stream we can get a reason to stand to 100 subscribers sound good really Aaron? yeah it's i don't i'm just and then i turn into these spazzy annoying ugly mother father that is just stupid but thank you um oh that's what i was gonna do i was gonna look at it hold on thank you for those that have been that watched it if you haven't that's okay it'll be up forever now um i'm gonna check out how it's doing 53 subscribers look at you guys are fast that's amazing keep going that would be amazing because then i could brag and be like my people got us 200 subscribers, guys. That would be amazing. Um, looks like it's doing pretty well. Some are not, surprise catchy doesn't. A 
Okay, some of these I wish had more views, but please try and watch them all if you can, because they're great people and they deserve the view. Oh, 54 subscribers, yay! Okay, we'll keep doing that this whole live stream and see if we can get them. Us, I guess it's kind of my, it's not my channel, but it's my, how am I not? There we go. Anyway, okay, I need to just calm down because I'm in a spazzy, shaky, crappy mood. And to be honest, I am miserable down south. And, um, and this has happened before. So what did we call it last time? The perfect storm or something where um, I always have hemorrhoids. I usually have a fissure, which is a cut inside of your anus hole. Um, I have irritable bowel syndrome and I have gastroparesis because like where I, Abby's amazing. Yeah, they all are where I can't poop on my own. So I have to use enemas to help me poop. And, um, once in a while, maybe it's cause I've been eating so much bread. I don't know. Um, I get a combination of all of them at one time and it is excruciating. So like the hemorrhoids will flare up. I'll get extra fissures that are bleeding and extremely painful. So I can't even get the enema in the butthole, which means I can't poop very much. And so then I get bloated and constipated and it's really painful and it causes me to have bladder infections too, or bladder like issues with peeing and stuff down there, like the pressure of it and stuff. And I just started another period. Vivi, I am, why, why do you feel horrible? If you are seriously asking me why you're here, I'm going to be pissed at you. You know why you're here, so. Because you're awesome and strong. It's kind of constipated, but it's not. What happens is my butthole gets so swollen that anything that's not, like, super easy, so, like, fruits and vegetables and stuff, sometimes bread has, in the past, been hard for me to digest, but it hasn't been that way for me since I stopped purging. So I was like, oh, I can totally eat bread. Oh, yes, we need Peruvian. We're getting Peruvian tomorrow, please. Let's do it. Um, who's orgasm? What are you talking about? Stop texting me while I'm live. I'm so distracted. I hate you. Okay. Um, anyway, um, why? Who's Kaden? Is that another one of your siblings or something? Or cousin or something? Um, no, I take, so I take, um, pro probiotics are tricky with me because I have the worst stomach in the world and they actually do the opposite for me of what they would do for most people. So yeah, I work just fine. Just maybe like two or three times a year, I'll get this perfect storm of all of it acting up. Um, like the worst fissures, the worst hemorrhoids, the worst not constipation like hard poop, but like hard to get out because my butthole is so swollen inside that you can barely squeeze anything through. It's really painful. And then of course that makes you bloated because you can't poop, which is also really painful. So yes, please can we get Peruvian tomorrow? Alicia and I are going to have a picnic in her driveway sitting six feet apart because we miss each other. She's getting married soon and I'm gonna miss her like freaking crazy even though I don't like see her a whole lot because I'm a hermit crab. Because I'm a hermit crab. But, um, but um, I'm going to miss her a lot. Uh, just knowing she's across the street has always been very comforting to me. Let me talk about Alicia for a second, actually. And by the way, she gave a speech, too, for the conference. So go watch, um, go watch the one that's called, is it the board members one? I think if you're just joining, please go subscribe to a reason to stand link is in the description of this. Please also go subscribe to Keith. He's amazing. He's amazing. That's the guy in the thumbnail that I think I found him and he's incredible. Go subscribe to him. Um, okay. So what was I saying? Baby, I'm not going to respond if you're going to talk like that girl. Come on. We've been through this. We went through this and you know, where I stand. I love you and I will never, ever, ever give up on you. And if you decide to give up, that really sucks and I'll be very sad. Um, 
I care about you and so do these people. And I feel like nobody does but we do. And you are so strong and powerful and and talented. Like you can do whatever you want with your life, girl. You are almost 18 years old. Move away. If you don't like where you are, move away. Go so go somewhere new. Meet new people. Do something because you deserve to live and you have a beautiful spirit, a beautiful voice, a beautiful musicality, a musical, a beautiful talent, a beautiful presence. You're beautiful all around, inside, outside. And I don't know what else I can say to convince you because I don't think you believe me and that's okay. But just know that I believe it and I think you're amazing. So I hope that you'll stay. Yes, Satan attacks the cream of the crop. Exactly. Um, what was I about to say, guys? What was I about to show you? I forget. Um, what was I talking about? Something about Ashley? What was I saying about Ashley? Wait. Alicia, not Ashley. Oh, I was gonna talk about Alicia. That's right, duh. Okay, so Alicia is my best friend in, well, I have a lot of best friends. She's one of my best friends. I have a lot of best friends, but she is my closest, literally, <laughs> and other ways best friends. And she um, lives like 20 feet away from me across the street. And she's incredible. Her story is um, that her dad was murdered when she was two years old in the Navy. And she kind of spent her whole life trying to find her dad's killer and also trying to get the Navy to stop covering it up that it was really a murder um, because they kept saying that it wasn't a murder, but it was. And so she spent her whole life trying to change that. And that's all I'm gonna say. You'll have to read her book when it comes out. But Alicia is a wonderful human. So. Danny and I right now are going through something really rough and I know that Alicia is like the only person I can talk to because she's the least judgmental person. I mean, you guys don't judge either. I get that, but it's like dangerous to put on that personal information on the internet because I'm like, I don't want people thinking that way of him or whatever. He's really struggling right now. Like it is not going well in the household, but um Alicia is the very first person that I came out to, even before Danny. Um, it was crazy. We were just in the garage, and I don't remember what we were even saying. I just blurted out. I was like, I'm, bi I'm gay. I think I said I'm gay, but I meant bisexual. Um, I don't know. She, from the second I met her, I felt very connected to her. And now she's moving <laughs> all the way to Georgia. But holy shit, am I happy for her because she is 45 or 46 and deserves this. She found a man, they're getting married, and it's the cutest thing in the world. And I give her a bunch of lingerie and she's really excited about it because they're waiting till marriage, which is so cute. And I'm just so, I'm like, it's such a bittersweet feeling because I'm like, oh, she's not going to be across the street. Like she was the one that I called. When Danny was out of the town, out of town and someone broke in my house, she's the first person I called. I should call the cops first, but I called her. Well, I called Danny. No, I called her first, I think. I don't know. But anyway, 46. Never been married. It's been her dream to be married, and she's been looking for so long and watching her go through boyfriend after boyfriend and date after date and heartache after heartbreak. And this girl is the sweetest person and she cares so deeply for other people and she deserves so much to find this love so I'm very very happy for her um she's I'm just so excited for her. I'm so excited like I don't know if I've been this happy for somebody in a really long time I don't know the last time I've been this happy for somebody so I love you Alicia thank you for being my best friend and thank you for no, I told you first. I told you first. Danny didn't know. Danny was second. I told you first. And then I think maybe three days later, I told him. And then like 
a couple days after that, I told my mom, and remember you were outside when I got home from telling her and I told you that I told her and you like started tearing up again and gave me a big hug and told me how proud you were of me and stuff. I don't know. Josh is so worth, come on, he's so worth it. And we will see each other, we'll visit and we'll bring a conference to you and see you and we'll just visit you anyway. And you'll be here in Utah, I'm sure, cause your mom is here. So I'm sure you will come visit and I don't know. No, I told you first, Leisha. And I wasn't planning it, but that's what I'm saying about her. I'm so comfortable talking to her that I can say anything without worrying about being judged or, you know what I mean? She's just incredible. I just really love her and I really need to eat something. So I'm gonna grab a snack. Um, so anyway, go subscribe to Alicia. Click on her face, go subscribe. She's writing a book. I don't know where it's at right now because I don't remember. Was there like a problem? I don't remember. I don't know where the book is at at the moment, but it's coming. And um, she, it's an incredible story. She's told me this story, but I'm not gonna tell you some of it because you need to read the book. And um, go subscribe because she's gonna start trying to make videos again. I'm, I'm gonna work on that with her before she leaves and teach her everything I can before she leaves. And, um, and I'm just happy for her and I've never seen her so relaxed and happy. Um, and yeah, I just, I love you girl, I love you. A reason to send us 58 subs, yay! Everyone go subscribe, let's get him to 100 before this live is over. Please go subscribe, yay! New York is on hold. Gotcha. I figured something like that, but it's getting close because aren't you done with it? I've been live for an hour. Exactly. I'm going to grab a yogurt. Hold on. Oh. Alrighty, now I'm going to pay attention to everybody else. Um, yeah. I've never lost hope for you, but seeing you lose hope was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. And every time you cry to me about it or talk to me about it, I just like wished and prayed inside and been like just like this girl deserves it more than anybody that I know why isn't it happening please make it happen for her and it did so that's wonderful um I'm just really I'm just like I can't I don't, I don't know what else to say I'm just so happy for her book is done and we love it might need to make it better okay but you can't do anything because of the virus right now because you can't go to New York so that makes sense Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, I hope people come back. I'm not singing anymore. Should I go change the title so people will come back? I'm going to do that. I'm totally going to watch. Hold on. People will come back. Um, oh, yeah. So tell me about the conference, what you thought, if you watched it. And I'm going to read your comments because I really want to know. And you can, if you have constructive criticism, please give it to me because... I'm always looking to improve, especially with this, because I'm not a good public speaker like the rest of the ladies were, but, um, okay. Edit. Come back. I'm done singing. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. Comments. Where are the comments? Let's see. Um, type it again. I'm not going to scroll, but thanks, Amber. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at Karina because she knows this about me. Karina, when are you going to stop asking me to scroll back? 
especially if it's that far away. <gasps> you watched the whole thing? Oh, I'm so, thank you for doing that. I watched the whole thing. I loved all of it, especially your speech. Aw, I left a pretty long comment. Oh, yay, in it for you. I think it was really cool to be able to watch all of it since I won't ever be able to. I know that's like the best part of this whole thing is that so many of you live out of the States and unless you live in the States and close to us, you might not ever hear us. I don't know. I don't see us going further than outside the United States. So if you're in the States, we might come your way someday, but um, I don't, I mean, in case, unless it like somehow blew up, but that's not really what, Ashley's not doing it for money. She doesn't want to do it for money. I don't want it. No, nobody wants to do it for money. So it's like, we're more driven just to help more people and to share our story. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna go read your comment and and uh, respond later because I've been doing that to all the comments, but I haven't checked in a few hours. So I'll go do that, thank you. Yeah, who else stood out? I can tell you who stood out to me. Would that be bad of me to do? I loved all of them, all of them, every single one of them. I loved Alicia's, she did a great job. She was given two or three minutes, I think, and she really did a good job at like putting everything in that two or three minutes. That's really hard to do. That's, that's what I did the first couple times was I only had it a couple minutes. Um, she did really great, but I loved Ashley's. I always love Ashley's. It doesn't feel like um, spring or fall anymore until I hear her speak. It's just, and I don't know why she was so, she was like, oh, that was terrible. I did so bad. I'm like, no, you didn't. That was beautiful. And I cried. And you guys know me, I don't cry off a lot. Um, and, oh, someone said that you said it. Wait, did I read that wrong? Maybe I read it wrong, hold on. Someone said, hold on, hold on, I'll find it. Shani, if you scroll up, probably quite a bit. Karina has a favorite singer, oh. So you didn't say to scroll up, Amber did. Amber, stop telling me what to do. Just kidding, I love you. Um, Carrie and Jenny. For me, Ashley and Jenny stood out the most. Um, and Abby oh, and Carrie. I can't pick. And Ketchy, of course. This is hard. But for me personally, for what I'm going through right now, I feel like today, I'll watch again and probably resonate with somebody else later, but today I resonated with Jenny and Ashley, of course, and Alicia. Um, and um, Ashley Hess did wonderful on her song. And I adore her, I adore everybody. Abby was so brave, um, so beautiful. Abby is just, I don't, I don't, all these people, Carrie was like, holy smokes. And here's the thing about her with me. Um, at first I was like, shut up Karina, I hate you. Please play it. I put a spell on you by Angelina Jordan. She'll blow you away more. You'll be just as obsessed. Okay, hold on. We've moved on from the listenings of the peoples for a minute. Now we're talking about the conference and then we'll come back. You met who through Bridget? I love you, Karina. Um, Carrie? So Carrie, when I first was watching, I was like, I can't connect with her because I am extremely unhealthy. And she's like this exercise health nut person. And usually those people intimidate me, which is my problem that I need to get over. So at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to connect with her. I have no idea what it's like to run a marathon. I have no idea what it's like to have a heart attack and then run a marathon. I have no idea what it's like to train for so long or to be into personal fitness so much and like that is so not my world at all but after maybe maybe like I knew that was her story so at first I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna connect and then I, maybe after like 10 seconds I was like I love this girl and she has so much heart so much passion so much beauty and so much strength and I'm I'm so glad that I heard her um I don't have words for any of them. And then Abby, who's the walking quadriplegic, uh, that was interesting for me to watch her story. Um, when she was describing the car crash, 
it made me have flashbacks of our car crash on our wedding day, but we weren't lucky. Or we were lucky. She wasn't lucky. And she was paralyzed. So go watch that and see what happens. Um, Jenny, for some reason, the thing that she went with about, um, I forget, and I don't want to say it wrong. Just go watch. I, <sighs> that one resonated the most with me right now. And I have mad respect for that girl because when she spoke a year ago, her, head, her husband had died when, Alicia? Like six months prior to that or something. And left her with seven young children. And she had the most, she still does have the most vibrant spirit. And like if my husband had just died, I, it would take me years to start public speaking about it. Like she just went right into it and found the, found the motivation to do it and stuff. What confusion? Was there confusion? Anyway, um, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And she is just incredible. And she was the one that was texting me the most, which was a nice surprise because she's so beautiful and wonderful inside and out. And she's amazing. Stop telling, did you not hear what I just said, Karina? That was not an oops. You did that on purpose. You're grounded. Get out. Don't go, but you're grounded. You're put in the penalty box of the... Why am I so obnoxious today? I'm just very nervous today. I'm very on edge all day. There's a lot going on in my life. Personally, there's a lot going on online today. There's a lot going on in my body today. And there's a lot going on in other areas of my world that are private. <laughs> So bear with me. I'm just like in a weird mood today. And I kind of hate myself for it, to be honest, but whatever. It's okay. I'm just teasing you. Anyway. Okay. Um, so thank you to those that watched. Does anyone have any questions? If you haven't watched it, it something that would make you, I don't know. Um, oh, I haven't finished talking. Let's see. So Abby, no, I talked about her. You guys know Ashley. She's the one that started the whole thing, and her husband, she survived the infidelity and murder of her husband. Um, and who am I forgetting? Ashley Hess, American Idol, Ketchy. Well, you guys know Ketchy, right? She was on America's Got Talent twice. She got the golden buzzer. Plane crash survivor, burn from head to toe. The most beautiful voice ever. Um, is that? And then Jenny. And then... Um, Wow, Abby, did I say Abby already? Carrie, me, Ashley, and then we've got Alicia, the other Alicia, who's incredible. That was a nice surprise. I didn't know she was gonna put anything in there, Alicia. That was such a nice surprise. I adore that girl. That girl is, her son was um, left at daycare and the daycare basically murdered the son, kind of. Is that right? I don't want to get that wrong. Their their son was abused in daycare and it killed him. So, um, and that was pretty recent for her. So, I just I can't even. Um, and then the dude, what was his name? Jeff. Yeah, he's he's wonderful. I need to get to know him. I don't know him at all. I saw him at the fall one that we did with the pretty trees inside. Remember that? I saw him at the end. But I think he came in really late, so I didn't really get to meet him. And then he left before I got to meet him. So I've never met that guy, but he looks incredible. And he lost his wife and child, I forget how old, in a car accident. Um, and he was in the accident himself, but he was the only survivor, I think. I know that his wife and one of his ch children died in that crash. Is he great? He looks great. Alicia Penland is amazing. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing the whole thing, go to a reason to stand on here and put push playlist and then it will play in order that they chose to put all the speeches and that might be, and if you want to just scroll to mine, you can, that's fine. But if you're looking for some encouragement, inspiration, I'm telling you, it is worth the time to listen to the other ladies. Like their stories are just and the way that they speak and telling you how they got through it and all that stuff, like, I'm just, 
I love those people. They're amazing. Um, I'm fifth, sixth, seventh. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Oh, and by the way, <laughs> Alicia, did you know that? I don't think I've told you this. When they very first posted it today, <laughs> I don't want to by myself, Alicia, but I'll meet him with you there or something. I don't know. I'll reach out to him if I'm feeling brave enough. I just want to meet him in person. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so when they first started it this morning, I get a, here, I'll just show you actually. It's really funny. <laughs> and of course this would happen to me because, duh. Okay. out of all the speeches mine is the one that has like an oops we're sorry but we figured out that it kind of only does that on a computer or we think that maybe her kids are like she has some sort of block on her computer for her kids or something because I looked it up on my computer and it was fine so anyway I just thought that was really funny that that was like the first thing I heard feedback wise about it Alicia moves in, when do you move? Don't you move in May? No. She's getting married in August, but I don't know when she's moving. When are you moving? I know it's coming up and she's building a house and the house is incredible. And her fiance is so cute because he's never been married either. And he's, I don't remember how old he is, but He's so cute because he takes really good care of his parents, especially his mom. And so it's always been really hard for him, I think, to think about like leaving his mom. But they are building a house right down the road from his mom. So how cool is that? Oh, you're, mo you're moving in with your parents. Okay. In May? Or when? Oh, because the new people are moving in. And then when do you move to Georgia? Why don't you just move to Georgia so you don't have to make two moves? Because the house isn't ready, probably. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully we haven't gotten another contract yet. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm really excited for you. So many ways. I know, right? So awesome. End of May. Okay. You save money. Mm hmm gonna be a big move girl you're going all the way across the country I have well Danny has made that move before because my brother moved to Georgia from here years ago he doesn't live there anymore but he and my brother both drove the trucks out there the U-Haul trucks and it took like six days of driving or something like that it was a lot so I really hope that you can find help from people that are able to help. Obviously, I can't, but I would love to. 
August 7th. Why don't you just do it now? And have the party later. Like, get it sealed. What if we have another earthquake? Or what if we... I'm just kidding, you don't have to do that. Have my dentures been? What do you mean? Be more specific. It's a poor state? I didn't know that. It's gorgeous there, I love it there. I think you'll fit in really well, I really do. You're a people person and people down there are so friendly and so talkative. So I think you're gonna fit in perfect, to be honest. Oh, the temple, that's right. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but can you get sealed outside? No, you can't. You have to go to the temple, right? But like, yeah, because one of the sealers can come do it for you, right? You have to actually be there. I'm so dumb. Um, I got dental implants, but I have decided, and I'm this isn't forever, but for now, I decided to keep the takeout dentures because it's part of my public speaking and it's an important part. It's kind of weird and awkward in the video today. Usually I do that in front of tons of people. Um, so doing it in front of the camera was kind of weird, but, but I'm making sure there's nothing in there. Mm. Mm. So yes, I got the implants. They go up to here and they hurt like hell, or they did at the time. But it's like, it's like part of my story now. And it's like, so I used up the money from the GoFundMe to get the these, the temporaries and stuff. And then my family member who doesn't want credit um, paid for the rest. And it's like $40,000 total. And that person called me and they were like, hey, I know that Danny's also struggling with his teeth. So if you want, you could just get a new takeout because I do need a new one. This was supposed to be temporary and it's turning brown and it's not very strong. And so she was like, you could get a new set and then also use the rest of that money to help Danny's teeth. And I just thought that was really generous and sweet. So right now that's looking like what we'll do, but we can't go to the dentist right now, obviously, but I don't know. Wait, what? Is the pain all the way gone? Do you get sore spots? Yes, the pain from the surgery is all the way gone. I get sore spots if food gets up in there and I chew it too much. So that's why I don't like the glue. Um, do you have them? Is that what you're asking? I do not like... No, Amber, I, that, that's what I thought people would do. It's kind of a silent gasp. It's kind of like a... wasn't expecting that because I don't warn them. I just... Um, I kind of... Like in my speech today, that's what I say in person usually. Um, when I did it in front of the high school last year, that was the one that I was the most afraid of. Do you want to see it? I'll just show you. Um, yeah, it's either it's either like it's like a gasp and then you can hear a pin drop type thing. Like it's I don't know. Maybe I don't hear the gasp because I'll sit there here. I'll just show you. Hold on. Your teeth are not fine with anorexia. You know this, baby. Come on. Um, I'll show you. Should we do... Which one should we do? Both? Because I did it... Okay, so this is the one... Okay, so 1,100 high school students were staring at me. And um, Vivi was one of those people. So she was there for this. All right, let me find where, where I take my teeth out.
so nervous. I don't like but just a few years ago, those things did start happening. I, I lost relationships. I lost... Uh, my ability to have children. I lost my ability to poop on my own. And... Not a sound. And they were glued, like, like their eyes were glued. If you need support for anything, yeah, do the not screws be afraid are to ask. Don't be afraid to ask your parents. Don't be afraid to ask. If you don't feel comfortable asking your parents, don't be afraid to ask your school counselors. That's what they're there for. They will help you. They'll listen to you. It's really important that you speak up if you're going through something hard because you do not want to end up where I am. And even if your story isn't the same as mine, just whatever it is that you are going through, speak up about it. Speak out. You're allowed to. You're loved. You're not alone. Come and join my internet family, please. Oh, look. My name's up there. Sweet. Okay, go, go subscribe because I'm almost 200,000, so go subscribe, please. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. No, <laughs> like 92,000 at this point. Okay, I've lost 5,000 since then. Oh, well. And you guys can come and listen in. People come from all around the world and share their problems. We have fun together. We laugh together. We cry together. We sing together. I sing about poop. Wait, you probably don't know that. Hold on. That sounds awkward. I... Never mind. Just come. Go watch my channel. You'll find out. I'm a very appropriate person. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm totally over At least they laughed, right? Could have been worse. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we're still walking. Because it's so cool. Please, thank you. I'll show you the other one too because I embarrassed myself in that one too. Vivi's right there, somewhere. Okay, so then this was later that night at the conference for like anyone could come. <laughs> because I almost died. Um, I don't know if they say you will be And I don't remember the teeth pulling out this one. I don't remember how it went. Oh, this is where I embarrassed myself though, as always. Walking into the bathroom finding puke everywhere and finding me dead on the bathroom floor with a toothbrush down my throat. And so I said a little prayer, which I hadn't done in years for myself. And somehow, not somehow, by the grace of God, I was able to somehow fit my entire fist down my throat and pull out that toothbrush. 
And it was the next day when I decided to start my YouTube channel. I decided, okay, holy shit. Oh, sorry, can I swear? <laughs> holy crap. I was like, wait, what were you talking about? <laughs> YouTube, YouTube channel. Oh, yes, okay. So I was like, holy poop. <laughs> I was like, I almost died last night. Like, literally. That's why I loved when, um, at the very end of this, uh, Derek, who you guys have gotten to know a little bit, holy crap, <laughs> um, he came up to me. And we live in the land of Mormons, so not a lot of swearing happens sometimes. And he comes up to me, and the first thing he says after the conference, he comes up to me and he says, thank you for saying shit. <laughs> it's like, you're welcome. Thank you for accepting shit. Anyway, um, was that before or after I take out my teeth? I don't know. I'm trying to do something. So that's when I decided to meet you on Facebook. And we all come together, and we help each other, and we support each other. And I make videos, and I do live streams every night on Instagram. Come and follow me and subscribe and do all the I don't things. know where I take my tweet out. I don't remember. We barely did it. But it's really been awesome. And, you know, there's one other thing that I did want to share with you really quickly. Because um, I think I was short on time. But I will say that I, I did go through the forgiveness process, and I'm so grateful that I did that because it was more for me than it was for him. And so... I forgot to say that in my speech. Whatever was done to you and not let it control you anymore. And it's hard to do that. I have to choose to do that every day and I usually fail. So, but it's hard. And I always tell my people just like never give up. As long as you keep trying, no matter what you're going through, you can get through it. And like I told you with the toothbrush, I never thought I would swallow a toothbrush. I never thought it would scratch the crap out of my throat. I never thought that I would lose the ability to have kids. But I did. The doctor told me, oh, you can't have kids, sorry. You've destroyed your body. And then I was like, well, but like I'll never lose the ability to like poop on my own. Like who does that? I did. I did. can't poop on my own anymore. My body's pretty destroyed. And then I thought, okay, but I'm never going to be one of those gross people who throws up so much acid that they lose their, their teeth. Wait. I should cries every time and it makes me cry. Wait, I didn't listen. Was there a gas? I'm never going to be one of those gross people who throws up so much acid that they lose their teeth. some gas. It's hard every time. It doesn't get easier. Every time. I get to up talking about this because first of all, it's the most painful experience I've ever been through. Like, I don't recommend it. Do not lose your teeth. That's really, really Lini? Um, so there's two of them. I, I, now I'm curious to see first time I did like a full speech. Because I don't remember what happened when I took out my teeth. So let's watch that part and then we'll be done. So this was 2018 in Vegas. Let's see where I take my teeth out. Oh, this was good. I'm gonna show you this. I forgot about this. <gasps> I haven't watched this in a couple years. Hold on. I kind of want to watch this. I'm sorry. I'm so conceited. from an eating 
disorder. I forgot about this. Or you ever have a low grade of staff budget and staff fairs with me. Because I actually cried. I remember this. This is going to make me cry. And if you've ever known anybody, if you've ever known anyone that is struggling or has struggled with me, sir, please stand up. Totally forgot about all this. I've been a victim my whole life, but okay, where where did the tea come in? You know, you want to get your hand on the wall. And I painted this and just brought it in one of my videos. We're worth it too. There's all these people and all to make you feel like forgive those around really you. Did it. That I did it to set me free from those at peace, knowing that I don't remember. You have something to give this world. I'm finding what that is for me. I always thought it would be that I would be a mom. Adopted daughters around the world. You'll find it. That's true. Adopted. I always thought it would be. I that forgot about the speech. I don't think I've listened to it. You are loved and you are beautiful. You are worth it. And Aww. you have something to you give this world. I'm finding what that is for me. I always thought it would be that I would be a mom. That's not going to happen. But I can. But I've made thousands and thousands and thousands of new friends. Where's the teeth part? Allow yourself to believe the things that they're saying. My abuses affect our marriage. They not told me that we've been married 14 years almost. Saying he tells me every single every single day. Not one day of our marriage has he not told me that we've been married 14 years almost. It's true. I can't he get still does. Baby. And by the way, I did get a couple comments of like, you've gained a lot of weight. And I'm like, are you new? Do you not understand that that's because I had back then? I was a lot bigger, but I don't care. Now I look at her and I'm like, look at her with those curves. I still have them. Okay, where are the teeth? Does anyone know where it is? April, you said you watched it yesterday. Did I not do it in this one? I thought I did. I know I did. Hold on. Where is it? Um, one of them was a subscriber. Yes. The other, I think three are probably subscribers because they knew that I had gained weight, so they must have seen me before or they thought that I was bigger than they thought I was. Um, but they were all deleted. I don't know if you can find them. I'll try and looking for them, hold on. I think I deleted all of them because it was really hard for me to hear. Um, Where's the teeth? Anyone remember? I don't remember, I can't remember, yeah. I know I did. Didn't I, Alicia? You were there. I really want to know because this this speech was special to me because it was my very first long speech. Like I had given a couple of two minute things, but I was so nervous about this. Um. <laughs> you didn't gain weight. You gained love and family, Shani. You're amazing. Love you. I love you too. I know. I'm getting over it. 
Where is it? This is driving me nuts. Sorry, this is so boring. It, oh, there it is. Oh, I'm like crying. I don't remember. Probably because it's the first time. Okay. Yeah, this is my first long speech. I don't remember this. I don't remember crying. It seems so silly for me to be sitting here talking about losing something so little in my body or... I don't cry. But the whole experience crazy. of the process of it was so painful and so embarrassing. Oh, I'm actually crying. Wow. And for the rest of my life, so I feel like all the reactions are similar. It's, you might hear a couple gasps and then um, silence. And those kids were so, so respectful to me and so wonderful. And it's like the baby sense it. I know, right? That was my thought too. Um, I should have said something. I should have been like, I know, right? <laughs> to the baby. I was so nervous that day that it was hard for me to crack jokes and connect as well as I did the other times, but it still was good. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Maybe Alicia did great. There, Alicia did great today. Alicia did amazing at uh, the high school as well. Um, every time I've seen Alicia do it. It's good to see her up there um, telling her story and knowing how hard that is for her to do. Thank you, Steph. I guess I have fun. Um... I am. I'm proud. I am. I'm proud. Oh. This has been nice tonight. Sorry, or er, thank you. Not sorry. Thank you for letting me be really conceited and doing what I want to do and talk about myself for a hundred minutes straight. Um, if he's going to reach out to you, Casey, you two need to be friends. If you're not already, you two need to talk to each other right now because you're both going through similar things, please. That makes my heart happy to see that. Yeah, I was so, yeah, that's true. Thank you. You guys are so nice. Um, you did? That's good. That's great. Um, What would you say if I said that I never cried over a video, movie, song, or anything ever? That's you, right? I mean, everyone's different. People ask, will ask me like, why didn't you cry in that video? Why are you not sobbing tears? I'm like, I don't know. I, I have a complex about crying where I feel like we won't get into that, but I don't like the way I look and I don't like the way I sound and I get embarrassed and I feel like people are gonna look at me as this like dramatic, overly dramatic human so it's like if I feel myself well up I well up a lot but like stopping the tears it just kind of happens right away for me I was also like I have a little trauma from my childhood like I wasn't allowed to cry a lot and so by my abuser and so um I don't know but then like in high school I was a big crier and I feel like it only started like six years ago where I just like I just don't cry very often anymore. I'm also extremely dehydrated constantly. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. You do too. Not just me, huh? 
When's the last time you brought out the Jojo jar and did you ever hear back from her or her family? Okay, let's talk about that. Well, should we? Um, Jojo, if you're watching, I am desperate to talk to you. But um, I actually did just come across the Jojo jar. I can go get it if you want. Maybe we should do that. Um, it's very sad what happened. And I feel like, so the last time I told this story, I had a friend of Jojo's, that's not her real name, by the way, that's the f fake name I gave her. Um, a friend of hers, I guess, was watching me tell the story of her. And that friend messaged me and said, she's alive because I was like crying in the video like wondering if she's dead because maybe I'll tell you that story in a minute so they messaged me and they were like she's alive please she would appreciate if you just don't talk about that anymore and that was like two or three years ago I think I don't know it was a long long time ago and like I really want I just don't know if I <laughs> believe it like this girl and I were so close for so long, I just don't believe it. I'm sorry, but I don't. I don't even know if I believe that that person was her friend. Maybe they were. I think I, maybe I asked them to prove it. I don't remember. Just because the story was so bizarre and heart-wrenching and I'll probably cry if I start talking about it actually, wow. Um, yeah, it was back in the very beginning, but I'm talking about the person that came on and said, she didn't want me talking about it. I think that was two or three years ago, maybe. And I haven't heard anything. No, don't be sorry. I like talking about it. I just never know, like, should I talk about it? Because here's the thing. It really affected me, and it put me in a place of, it put me in a different state of mind as far as you guys go. And it's one of the reasons I have <clears throat> a really, a really big wall up. Um about certain things because I thought that she was dead and I thought it was my fault, basically. I'm gonna go grab that jar. Um, I'm like welling up inside, wow. Hi. Good, how about you? I'm good. You just laughing? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You look very cute. Thanks. Maybe do this next time. Just straight back. Not down the middle. That's what I do. You combed it to the side, though. That's what you told me to do, because you didn't want to do that. And I was wrong. So comb it back. Okay. Slick it all back, okay. and then it should just, like, keep its shape. It's going to fall forward again. I know, like but it'll thing. have a better shape well, on top. Hey! You're the one upstairs. Um, <laughs> um, in one of the tubs in your room that I was looking through the other day, you know? Yeah. The Jojo jar. Do you remember that? The little heart-shaped glass yeah. jar. I just saw it up there. It's probably sitting there somewhere, accessible. He's, he's doing a little better today, so that's good. We are so adorable. <laughs> we just love each other that's all it's hard though I know Steph I just I feel like I should be able, allowed to talk about it because I censor her name and I censor everything about it and it was something that was really painful for me and really painful for her and so I understand that she doesn't want it being talked about because it was so painful for her but it was also so painful for me. And what do I do with painful things? I tell you guys about it. Um, so it's kind of been hard for me to not talk about it, but I've been trying to respect it, but I have actually been thinking of her lately. And then now I just, who knows? Maybe she still watches. There's no way of knowing. Hopefully she's alive. Um, hopefully she's watching. And if she is, please reach out to me on Instagram, please. I would love to talk to you. Educating underscore Shani is my name on there now. And just put I'm your real name. 
in the title so I can know it's you. Oh, find out where she lives. Okay. Yeah, because you're in England. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's been so long now and I've lost... I don't know if I have that box anymore because she sent me stuff and her address is on there, but I don't think I have it anymore, which was the problem. I've just been like praying for her in my heart every single day, hoping that she's alive, but I'll never forget her. She's an incredible person and I miss her a lot. <sighs> really? Thanks, Steph. Hold on, I'm gonna go look for it. What? Hold on. Hang on, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, we can't find it, but I'll work on finding that. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think of how I can, yeah, I used to be in the background. I'm trying to think of how I can explain the story and protect her the most that I can. I think, like, nobody knows who it is, but... Sorry, the cartoons are back on for the birds. I turned them off while I was singing. Just tell it? Okay. Um, so, we're gonna call her Jojo. That's what I called her. That's not her name at all. Um, so, she found me um, in the very beginning. And she was my first fan, if you will. She sent me my first fan mail, my fan letter. Um, and then we started talking on the phone and messaging and talking every night. We would talk for like four or five hours every single day. Um, and we got really close and got to know each other so well and basically became sisters. So Jojo um, has eating disorders, but she also has really bad, really bad BDD, body dysmorphic disorder. Um, 
and it like it was so bad for her that she wouldn't even go to the hairdresser and if she had to go to the hairdresser she'd make them cover the mirror or she wouldn't walk by a toaster or all the mirrors in her room and bathroom were covered or like it was really really bad so I never saw her face um and after so like I would we would send videos back and forth to each other and my videos would be me and her videos would I could hear her voice but she puts the camera the other way so I never got to see who she was and it was around that time that I started getting a couple trolls and um that like hurt and I was like can I really trust people so I told her I was like I don't want you to show me your, I don't I'm not like asking you to show me your face because I just what did I say I don't remember this was so long ago I was okay so I was feeling insecure I was like what if just what if even though we've been talking for months every day all day what if this person is not who she says she is because that was my first really good internet friend like that from a different country that I'd never met would never meet you know, and I start getting paranoid. So I said to her, I said, just, I'm not asking you to show me your face, but I'm just telling you that that's kind of an insecurity for me right now that I'm kind of starting to get, like, I need to know that you're who you are, you know, and, and um, she was like, well, don't ask me that because if you, no, that's what it was. Hold on, I told that wrong. Right before that, no, I did ask her once. And then she said, I would really appreciate if you don't ask me that again. And I said, why? And she said, because then I'd have to kill myself. And I was like, why? She's like, because if you see my face, I'm going to kill myself. And I was like, why? You know, and obviously it's her insecurities and I still don't understand why, but that's her deal. Okay. Um, so I respected it. And a couple months later, it started getting harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. She started talking to me about past um, suicidal thoughts and how, I'll never forget this part. It sums up her life perfectly. She was an only child. Her parents were super ignorant and neglectful and just like, I don't know. Um, and they hid her from the world. Like they told all of her their friends that she was like off at med school somewhere, but really she was locked up in her room in their house and they were ashamed of her so they would lie and I'll never forget one night she told me that if she killed herself I would never be able to know and I said why and she said because my parents wouldn't report it if they walked in and I was hanging right there and the window was open the first thing they would do is close the window and close the blinds and I believe her I met them a couple times that's how they act like these Christian people that are, are only care about what their friends think and so anyway so that so a couple of months after I asked her the first time I, I it really started to get to me like I was having nightmares I was having like my paranoia was going crazy so I went to her crazy so I went to her and I said look I don't like I don't know what to do because I feel like I'm giving you all of me and you get to see my face and you get to see that I'm real and I don't get to see you and I don't get to see that you're real. And she didn't answer for a little bit. And then I know I won't find her too. And she answered me, I think a couple days later with a picture of herself, sent it to me, said something like, great. Now are you happy? And then then I never heard from her again. So in my mind, it's like, okay, she told me many times, if you ask to see my face, I will kill myself. And if I kill myself, my family's, like, she didn't do it in a manipulative way. She was dead serious. Like, I truly believe that she believed it. I really do. She's a sweet heart to the core. I adore her. And that's why I would like, yeah, she said, yeah, the only reason she hadn't killed herself because she didn't want people to see her in the casket. That's the only reason. So it was hard because I got to know her so well. We literally talked hours every single day. She showed me her house. She showed me her parents, her, 
her daily routine. She would sing to me. I would sing to her. We were the best of friends. We were... And it just got hard for me because I am not a trusting person. I've been burned in the past and the whole internet thing was new to me and it was a scary thing to think about possible, you know, and it's like, even though I know that I knew her, I still felt like I had to know. I had to see her face and it had to go with her voice or else I wouldn't have believed her, which makes me feel like crap. And then I did that and sent me the photo or the video or whatever. I think she sent me both and then left and I haven't heard from her since. So, that's the story. I would hope that she just stopped talking to you because she was ashamed or embarrassed or whatever, not that she actually died. I hope so too. I've been, I seriously pray for her all the time. I hope she's okay. Yeah, so she sent me this jar, which was so cool. I'm gonna find it. Maybe I'll find it and we'll open it together tomorrow night. She sent me this jar. We named it the Jojo jar. It's like this little heart-shaped jar. And inside of it, she had written prop like hundreds of little notes and folded them up individually and put it in a jar. And she's like, just take one out whenever you need it. And it was always something really sweet or a quote or something uplifting or something funny to make me laugh or it just was a jar full of happiness and it was the sweetest thing and I used to read those on videos so we would go to the Jojo jar it's time for the Jojo jar and we go to the Jojo jar and pick one out and see what it says so maybe I should bring that back I don't know I'll, I'll go look for it better tonight I know I just saw it somewhere and maybe we can do that I just like really hope that I really hope that if she's watching right now, she, I, I, I would hope that she would understand that this is my outlet and this is where I talk about things and I, I'm protecting her. I'm not saying where she lives. I'm not saying her name. I'm not saying her parents' names. I'm not showing you the picture that she sent me. I'm protecting her to the best of my abilities. I even changed her name. Um, but I understand also that in her mind, I betrayed her, and so she just doesn't want to be my friend anymore, which is fine. However, she would benefit greatly from you guys in this community. So if you happen to be out there, Jojo, you know who you are. Um, I miss you. I love you. I hope you're okay. And yeah. So since then, it's been really hard for me to, to make that close of an internet internet friends like that um i have made a couple and one in particular is um i hate talking about this because people get really mad when i say stuff like this but um You know, I feel like if I'm going to talk about this, I need to end this, start a new one so I can delete the new one because I'm not comfortable leaving this up. I should have done that with the JoJo story. Um, hold on, I'm thinking this through. I'm going to go to bed soon though. Hold on, let me think. No, you can't edit it live once it's uploaded. You can screen record and edit and re-upload it, but no. Um, that's okay. I'm comfortable with what I said as far as that goes. I'm just trying to figure out if I should talk about because it's such a sore subject. Yeah, maybe talk about it tomorrow. I don't know. Um, Yeah, we wanted to stay up for Keith and for the conference. Did everyone go subscribe? Let's. What What are their subscribers? Who was? What are you keeping track? Who was it? Yeah, it's been on two hours. I can feel my body being like, stop going live and go to bed. 
Yeah. But it has. I do want to talk about, because, like, it's affected a lot of things, and it's affected... Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Let's do it tomorrow. 64, yay! Who here is not subscribed? Okay, go to the link in the description of this live. Go subscribe to the reason to stand. I want to brag and be like, my people got us 200 subscribers. But I can't do that if you guys don't do that. So go do it. Thank you for those who already have. Um let me go look. Let's see. I know my phone battery's dying. Of course. Where is my charger? Okay. No, I know, Steph, I know. Obviously, I felt connected to I think a lot of people did. But it doesn't surprise me at all that you're very connected to it. Really, Kimmy? Aw, that's really sweet. They're so cute. Um, 109 subscriber? Did we just do it? Oh, that's a different one. That That's the old channel. Hold on. Wait, where's the other one? Wait, where did it go? There it is. 66. Okay, keep it coming, guys. If you haven't done it already, please go subscribe. Are you subscribed to your reason to stand on I YouTube? So. Maybe. I don't think you are because it's new. 65, nice. Let's try and get him to 100. If you have like a second account, go log in and subscribe because I really want to brag about you guys. Yeah, you can go back and watch this one, we'll be saved. Thank you, Harley. I appreciate that. Yeah, the new channel doesn't come up. It's hard to find. Go to the... Subscribe. Is it the right one? Is that is your original channel the, the new one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're at 67. Anyone else who hasn't done it yet? Maybe people who watch this later will go subscribe. Um, oh, do you, baby? Nice. Yes, please do. You can't wait to watch? Go watch. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go, actually. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll log on and there will be 100 subscribers for a reason to stand um, so that I can brag and be like, my people got us 200 subscribers. So keep it coming. Watch all of them. 69! I know it is. Um, what? I said I know it is. And don't forget to watch the one, the board members one, because that's the one Alicia is in. And then, yeah, it looks good. And then if you watch mine, actually, if you watch any, please leave a comment on each one because. It means a lot. It would mean a lot to them to go to the comments and see that somebody cared enough to take the time to comment because it's not easy for them to tell these stories, especially online. They're not like me. Like it terrifies all of these people to be in front of a camera. So go and show them some love and support. You can tell them that you watch me if you want or whatever. It doesn't matter. And um, and if you watch me for sure, leave me a comment because I'm gonna be replying to all of the comments for the first 24 hours, which is still all night long. I'm gonna go reply to a whole bunch right now. I'll probably keep it up, the replying for two or three days actually. Um, 73, 74, 75. 
five. Yay! How cool would that be? Wait, we might be able to do it. Who else could I call that would subscribe? I can call Lexi. So she's awake. Actually, she's not going to be awake. 76. Well, I'll just log on and see if it happens tomorrow. And if not, then we'll try it again tomorrow night to get 100. But, all right, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everything tonight and for letting me be really conceited all night. And I love you guys a lot. And hang in there, not literally, and we'll talk tomorrow. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. I don't know what camera I'm going to go ask them to if they haven't. So, all right, love you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night.